This video is an off-road test of the third generation Jeep Grand Cherokee known as WH or WK in the United States and we will give it various tests ranging from easy and progressing to harder and harder in the day. This vehicle is quite capable as stock as you can see. Left hand down. Yep. The only thing we did to this Grand Cherokee is yep. remove the front air dam off the bottom of the front bumper. It didn't have any side steps, so everything else is pretty much All right, right hand down. Is pretty much stock standard. No, keep going. Yeah, yeah, keep that direction. Yep. All right. There is a slight difference in the in appearance or in the looks of the vehicle or aesthetics uh, between the international models and the US models. For example, the rear bumper bar houses uh, two red fog lights, which can also be seen on the SRT8s. So a lot of Americans confuse the normal or standard Grand Cherokees of the international models with an SRT8 unless they have a closer look. The other difference are the rear tail lights. The international models have two white strips, one for reverse and one for indicator or a blinker, whereas in the States there's only one white strip which is uh, used for reverse. The other difference is the indicator bulb or light that's on the front fender flare or the front water. American models don't have those. This particular Jeep is a limited and has a 3 litre V6 common rail diesel or turbo diesel engine, OM 642 from Mercedes. It has 160 kilowatts. Beautiful. Ah, oh, you're sliding. Or 215 horsepower and 510 newton meters of torque. All right, not bad. This common rail direct injection V6 Merc motor is a twin cam and has four valves per cylinder. Left hand down. I was going to put the left in the rock. No, no, now go left hand down. Yep, that's it. Straighten up. Yep. The horsepower and torque produces at only 1,800 RPMs. Quarter mile figures on this uh, CRD are pretty good. Uh, they're ranging all in the 16 second passes stock. And there are recorded figures of 15 second passes and even 14 second passes with the tune installed on it. So that's pretty impressive coming from a diesel with such a good fuel economy and power. The motor is also mated with a Mercedes automatic transmission, uh, which Chrysler calls NAG1. NAG1 stands for New Automatic Gearbox Generation 1, or the way Mercedes refers to it, it's a WA580 or W5A580 uh, transmission. Yep, as you are. Sometimes that number, the first five, is omitted. Right hand, right hand down, yep. Not too much. Straighten up. Yep, that's it. W stands for transmission using a hydraulic torque converter. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> whoop, 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 wait, wait. Nah, go reverse. Five is for five forward gears, which is not always written out. A is for automatic transmission, and 580 is for maximum input torque in newton meters. Chrysler chose this transmission slow over the 545 RFE because of the wider gear range. Right hand down. And smaller size, yep. therefore lower weight for these diesel motors. And the transmission is mounted to a new venture gear, NV245 transfer case. This system is known as Quadra Drive 2, which contains the electronic limited slip differentials, front and rear, as well as the transfer case electronically operated LSDs that achieve 100% lock. The transfer case ratio is 2.72 to 1, which is pretty good. The front diffs are 7.9 inch or 200 millimeter Chrysler C200 FE diffs. The rear diffs are 8.3 inch or 213mm Chrysler C213 RE.
All right, right hand down. Yep. Straighten up. Yep. Look at look at your retire. Get a photo so I can put it. I'll use the retire. Left hand down. The diffs in the CRD model are different ratios to the ones on the Hemis and other Grand Cherokees. They're 3.55 ratios, whereas on the Hemis are 3.73. Left hand down. Yep. Straighten up. Right hand down a bit. Yep. Slowly. Left hand down. Yep. Right hand down. The good thing about this Quadra Drive 2 system is that once the computer senses the wheel slippage on one of the wheels on the same axle or the same diff, it automatically transfers all the torque to the non-slipping wheel. This is without the use of traction control. Also, if those wheels are slipping, then through the transfer case, the same thing happens between the front and the rear differentials. The transfer case then will uh, transfer all the torque to the other diff in the axles uh, to the non-slipping wheels. So basically you can say that out of the four wheels, 100% torque can be transferred to a single wheel on either of the axles. Nice. Once the LSDs achieve 100% lock, then they remain locked as long as there's load on the gas. I've even noticed that once the foot is released off the gas pedal, that differentials still remain locked for some time, or even longer than a minute before they disengage. Quite capable vehicle considering it has independent front suspension which is good for the on-road handling and the re solid axle for off-road articulation so I would say it's a happy medium between the two and quite capable with its system and once this vehicle gets uh, big lift tyres uh, it'll be unstoppable. It's the plastic underneath, don't worry about it. That's why you need to take that off. Go, go. Sweet. And this test is done with all the sway bars still connected. Everything is pretty much stock and nothing has been removed apart from that air dam on the bottom of the front bumper. Right hand down. <coughs> yep. The fuel economy of this common rail diesel is just amazing. In the books, they would say uh, normal combined average is about 12 point something litres per 100 kilometres. 
but I've had it down to mid tens average of combined driving. Keep coming. <coughs> During our off-road trip, we had a long drive into the mountains, so the economy was pretty good there. It went down to uh, nine and a half litres per hundred kilometres, and during our four-wheel driving, it went up to about 11, and then dropped down to nine and a half again. So a very economical vehicle with a lot of grunt. No, no. Yep, yep, you're lifting up now because of that rock. Oh, good. You're sliding, yep, good. Good. Left. Left, left. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Awesome. Right hand down. Yep. Not there. Yep. That, that's it. Left hand down. Yep. Hey, it's hailing. Yeah. Look at it on my arm. Yep. It's ice it's is coming down okay. again. Put it on the car. Yeah, I'll get it over the Great work, mate, with a stocker. And near the end of the day, we had some adverse weather. All of a sudden, from a nice warm day, dark clouds rolled over and we had some hail. But it was a beautiful day and we enjoyed this test. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.